HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services, joined by Jan Zeber after today's game against Watford. Jan, it's a defeat in the end, but it had a slightly different feel to it to me today. There are a lot of good things that we saw on show today, particularly in the second half. I would say also in the first half in a way, but unfortunately after five minutes we were directly on the back foot, but uh, still there were very positive things for me to see today and um, the result of course is very painful, but um, you know, what for then? Look at the table, look at the situation, they are in the FA Cup, which is a, for me, incredible good team, well organised and uh, we really could hurt them today. Mm. Um, yeah, and um, to be fair, I'm, I'm proud in a way how, how the, the lads try to um, be on the front foot in my system. Like you said, uh, uh, the worst start you could have imagined, really, and it's, it's an individual mistake. The lads have, have tried to get back in, and, and, and in the end, it's a very good quality finish from the attacker. But it just shows again, like you said, that the quality in the Premier League they really punish you if you make that kind of mistake. Yeah, that's it. And you know, everyone likes to, uh, knows that I like uh, Jonathan Hogg very much. And then, unfortunately, he had also a yellow card. And the ref also told me that it could be critical for him in the next situation. Would have become a red card, so I had to protect Hoggy and he knows best and he's excused for it, but it's not about Hoggy in this situation, mm. it's about us as a team to solve it, yeah, because uh, for me the team is before one individual mistake. He goes, my next question was going to be about Hoggy, it gave you the opportunity to give Matty Daly his Premier League debut, his mm. senior debut, and I think that is one of the positives out of today, that people could really see the quality that you've talked about. I had him in my mind now for a longer time, unfortunately there was an illness and then an injury but um, I think everyone from Huddersfield Town could be proud now today because he's a player who came through the academy, uh, for me he had really an impact and um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to work with him and stabilise him but as I always say take care for these players. We created a lot of chances today against a very good team we should say in Watford, an FA Cup finalist known for having a very resolute defence. You've always talked about the creation of chances being the most important thing and then the goals will follow. So yeah. in that sense, you must be quite pleased to see in that 4-3-3 three, three that you like so much that the chances did come today. Exactly, and um, that's why I say that I learned so much out of these games because if you have done such chances and the chances will also be done in the championship and then you can on your way punish it. And for me it's important to go through this process. So it belongs in a way to, to football, to um, to have moments where you, where you are um, disappointed, but yeah. the things like it's about being positive of changing it and I can tell the fans and all the supporters they were amazing once more today mm. and I'll still stay positive because I know what to do. Another positive, Isaac and Benz are back in the team mm. after quite a long injury layoff, yeah. how do you think he did today? I think he performed quite well, had a shot on target directly and uh, unfortunately on the 18th minute he gave me a signal for substitution, uh, we didn't want to risk that he's injured once more. As I said so often I need wingers mm. so and um, he's one of them and uh, I think he performed quite well today. We should forget as well that Isaac is quite a young footballer. He's yeah. a lot of those young men out on the pitch today. I'm thinking Janine Bakuna again, perhaps as well. There's a lot of promising talent there, which it's hard in the moment to get excited about. Yeah. But you have to stay positive and look at these things, don't you? And I also tell them to stay positive. You know what I mean? So uh, they're they're young. They have their career in front of them, and they look. No, and not just not just the young players. You know, I mean, for me also the the older players are important with their experience. And um, together, it's the togetherness which this club is famous for. For me, is the is the um, the, the view for the for the future. Absolutely. You talked about learning from every game, of all mm. the four games we had in the week. Have you learned today? Very much. Once more. Very much. But it's as I said, hard for hard and painful to take the result. But yeah, this is a very important time for me at the moment. You've already mentioned them, but you've just been asked by uh, it was BBC match of the day. There, unbelievable response from the fans in the second half today. You wouldn't have known the whole situation we're in from the reaction of them. No, because they saw what we did. We played a team who was on the, uh, on the tenth, uh, tenth place on the, on the table, is in the FA Cup final, as I said once before, and we were really brave, I would say. Mm. And to be fair, um, they, they surprised me <laughs> every weekend. Mm. So uh, big, big credit to them. They are. The most important part of the Huddersfield Town family. Final word for Carl and Grant. He's obviously been ill in the week. He's had a tough week in that yeah. sense. But you get a sense for strikers, don't you? Sometimes they just know where to be, right place, right time, on the move in the box. And he's now four goals for the season. It's an impressive return. Yeah, I would say so. I'm really pleased with it because you know he was my first signing, and uh, he directly makes four goals. I think he can become even better. Yeah. And uh, and I tell him this. And uh, unfortunately, you know. Um, Normally it was even it was hard even with the with the time he played today because he was really ill and um, but as you can see he has a good heart and every one of the players uh, um, supported him today to to make his fourth goal. Yeah, and thanks for joining us. Thank you.